everyone. Today is a shooting day. That means I'm going to be cooking a lot of recipes to be posting soon. So I am getting my day started with a smoothie. I'm going to start off for that smoothie showing you how to core a pineapple using one of my favorite kitchen gadgets, my pineapple corer. Um, really makes quick work of it. So first off, you just start by um, cutting off the top of the pineapple. And sometimes when my pineapple doesn't have a level base, then I might cut a little bit at the bottom too. But this one looks pretty good, so I'm not too concerned with that. Um, and I'm just going to get my knife out of the way here. You start off um, by putting the teeth, lining that up with the core of the pineapple. I'm just going to press it in there, and then you just start turning. And it's going to cut and spiralize our pineapple all the way down. Makes it really easy. It's really nice. I love to entertain. I've mentioned that several times. We have friends over usually on Sunday nights. It's really nice because you can use the pineapple as a centerpiece. You can do something with it. Um, usually I use it as a vase for flowers. Um, so it works out really nice that I still get to keep this. You can just cut the sides off and um, cut it if you would like. Um, but then you don't have your pineapple um, to use for other um, decorative purposes. So it's really nice. So you just put it in there and then um, it's not as hard to pull out as what I make it look. I just have no upper body strength, so um, it does kind of get wedged in there a little bit. Kind of sucks it in, but it does pull out pretty easily. You have your core in there. Usually I just cut that out whenever I'm using it as a base for flowers. And then you are all set. I just take off the top of it. You can slide the pineapple out. Be careful because it is a blade here, so be careful whenever you're undoing that. And then it just slides right off. And then you can just um, slice it if you like or dice it. You can do it in half rings or however you'd like. You for whatever um, purpose you have. So usually I leave half of it um, just sliced in half in case I want to make a chicken teriyaki. Use it as a topping or something. And then the rest of it I dice for smoothies. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Doesn't waste a lot of the pineapple and gives you a really cool centerpiece or base for a fruit tray or for your centerpiece. Uh, so I really enjoy that it preserves that of it. You can get this on Amazon, Williams Sonoma, Kitchen Specialty Stores. It's really great. Pretty easy to clean up. It's dishwasher safe. I usually just wash it by hand because it doesn't take very long. So that is our pineapple um, coring process. And I use this for um, any time that we have fresh pineapple because it's just so easy. I don't have to worry about it. And you have nice uniform slices. So if you're doing kebabs or something, it just looks nicer. So that's just how I do my pineapple. So I hope that you learned some great tips. Please make sure that you um, click through the link below to purchase the pineapple core that I have here. They also have an updated version. They now have one that has a um, slicer and it'll slice it um, into equal portions for you. I just haven't updated mine. It doesn't really seem necessary. It's just a few extra steps for me. But they do have an updated version. So choose whatever you think is best. Let me know what you think of it and I'll see you in a bit.